Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Garland in here bringing you another Neverwinter video today. And this is one of the more anticipated videos. This is going to be showing you how to farm some AD. This is one of my little sneaky methods. Uh, it's pretty decent. Uh, PlayStation 4 users are definitely going to want to take advantage of this. Uh, prices on the PC and Xbox do vary, but PlayStation 4 you should be taking advantage of this. So here we are today, we are in the Dread Ring. <clears throat> you want to talk to Sergeant Knox. We're going to do the weekly first, uh, the Red Wizards. As you can see, you're going to get some uh, rough AD right off the bat, some Thane Scrolls, and a Artifact Trove. This is very easily, we're just going to knock this out real quick. Um, the stuff that you get from the Trove is actually bound, but I just want to show some of you PlayStation 4 users how to quickly get uh, some, just some goodies. So we're going to quickly run through this. And it looks like someone killed the oh no, he's still up here. All right, you just have to kill three invokers, basically. Easiest way is to do the path that I just ran. And that's the weekly. We'll go turn that in real quick, and then we will start farming. So we will run back to Sergeant Knox and turn in the weekly. Now Sergeant Knox is going to have a daily quest as well. So let's turn in this weekly and the daily quest. Um, it's, in, it's very important that you only farm Dreadring on Tuesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And I'll show you why right here. The reward for doing this um, is a rare or uncommon uh, identified item. We don't care about that. Uh, you're going to get three Vanguard scripts, five Thayan scrolls, and a Thayan cipher. Uh, on Monday and Friday, you're going to get three additional scripts. On other days of the week, you're going to get a cask of wonders and an uncommon component. Now, at the very bottom, it says on Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday, you have a chance to get a lesser mark of mark or a greater mark of power. That's where your money is going to be coming from. Uh, those are going to be coming unbound to you. You're going to be able to sell those. Um, so the greater mark of power, I believe, on PlayStation 4 is going quite high. Now there's going to be three different dungeons that you're going to be going into. There's either the Death Forge, the Dread Spire, or Phantasmal Fortress. Uh, as you can see, the Dread Spire is where you're going to get your Greater Mark of Power from. The Death Forge is where you're going to get the Greater Mark of Stability. And the Phantasmal Fortress is where you're going to get the Greater Mark of Union. So you can farm any one of these, and it depends on which one you want to do. Like I said, you will be able to do one of these for free. So we are going to accept this quest real quick. If you bring up your map, here's where all three are located. So the Dread Spire is located on right here. The Death Forge is located right here. And the Phantasmal Fortress is located right here. Now, how can you farm this if you can only get that daily quest once a day? You can go back into those dungeons as many times as you want. You can talk to this gentleman right here. And you need a Thayan Lair Key, which costs 10 uh, Vanguard scripts. So you can buy as many Thayan Lair Keys as you want and go into the dungeon every single time. Now I do recommend that you PlayStation 4 users or Xbox users or PC users, if you're not adequately equipped to solo the dungeons, that you know get a couple friends and 
you know, basically just decide that you want to farm it. Now you also, with the uh, launch of Guild Alliances, can directly buy the key from the campaign menu, which I will show you here as soon as we get to the dungeon. These dungeons aren't too hard. However, like I said, if you are under guild, maybe you do want to take a friend, uh, maybe three people. It's up to it's up to you. Uh, as long as one of you has a key, all of you can enter the dungeon, but you will not be able to loot the chest unless you have a key. So here we are at the Dread Spire. Now, like I said. Uh, you, you you couldn't do this before, but now with Guild Alliances out, you can actually go to the Dread Ring, open the store, and buy as many keys as you want. Now, you like I said, you will be able to do one free daily, and then you can grab as many keys as you want. We're going to go in here very quickly, and we will do the dungeon, and we'll see if we can pull a greater mark. The drop rate isn't too horrible. Uh, you'll get probably one greater mark every three runs. So about one in three. On a rare occasion, you might get one in four. Uh, so you guys basically need to make sure you're doing your dread ring dailies every day so you can farm those uh, Vanguard scripts. So we are going to run through this very quickly just so I can show you guys at the end. Uh, these dungeons aren't very long. It should, should take you about five minutes, seven minutes. <clears throat> like I said, if you are able to solo these, then by all means, uh, solo as many as you can to farm those marks. Otherwise, grab a group of your friends and uh, get them done. And this is the main hallway here, you just gotta collect the research and then the boss should be right up around the corner. And one last research. And the boss should be right up here.
Alrighty, and that's it, guys. So there's a chest on the left and a chest on the right. Now you'll notice this chest on the right says Orcane Coffer Gauntlet. I've talked before in previous videos about the gauntlets. If you go back into your dread screen, you can make one of these a day. Okay, so you can uh, get a silver gauntlet and it goes all the way up to uh, admin uh, gauntlet. So if you do want to do these, I haven't done it, but if you do plan on forming these every Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday, I would suggest, you know, working on your gauntlet as well, and you'll get this bonus chest. But this was the free chest for the daily, as you can see, the Dreadspire Treasure Trove, as I showed you before. Uh, it will automatically open, so let's see. Let's open it up. And it looks like we got a blue mark of power, a power stone, and then all that currency. And as you can see, it is tradable. That went right to my tradable ones. So if you do happen to pull greater marks, they are going to be tradable, guys. Um, a lot of people do not farm this. I don't know why. I mean, there is a good bit of people that do. But if you guys, you guys have been asking me questions before on how to get the greater marks or what's a good way to get marks, uh, Dread Ring is a fantastic way to get marks. Uh, even if you do the weekly, like I said, let's open this up. So we got all this out of the weekly. Uh, I don't need any of this. So, And this stuff is bound to your character, unfortunately. But for you people that actually do need that stuff. So you can actually just exit the dungeon. And once you exit, like I said, as long as you do have the Thay and Lair keys, you can go right back in. And you can do this as many times as you want. So that is just one way of earning AD. Uh, every Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday, you come here, you can farm those nonstop. As long as you have the currency to be able to buy the key. So keep in mind, you do have to do your Dread Ring uh, daily quests to get your currency. As you can see, I have 375 Vanguard scripts, so that's a lot of keys that I can buy. Um, on the Xbox and PC, we do have access to the Genie's Gifts. We can just turn the Genie's Gifts in for uh, campaign currency. I don't think uh, the Genie's Gifts are on PlayStation 4 yet. Uh, so you guys want to make sure you're doing your Dreadwing dailies, and then that gives you another option to, you know make some AD. Uh, like I said, the PlayStation 4, from what I'm hearing, the greater marks are pretty expensive right now. So just a quick little guide on the Dread Ring. Uh, if you guys do have any questions about that, be sure to leave me a comment below, and I'm going to see you guys next week.